In this video, we're going to solve a particular problem which appeared in J Advanced 2015. So first we try to understand this problem. It's a very interesting problem as well as easy. Let's go ahead. So here f dash x is provided to us and it says that f2, f1 by 2, sorry, is 0. So these are the given information. Now we need to find out the integration value of 1 by 2 to 1 fx dx and it's, we need to find its lower, lower, lower uh, values of m and maximum value m. So basically we need to find out that what can be the range of that function, right? That is if that this integration, right? So we have to find the limit of this integration, limit in the sense the lower value and the upper value, okay? Not in the upper limit and the lower limit, okay? That's it. So let's go ahead and solve this particular problem. So first we consider that function fx as that if dash x is as given. And here uh, we see that, right? We need to calculate that 1 by 2 fx dx. So from here, we obviously, we can see that by default, we can go ahead and say that fx uh, is equal to integration of 192x cubed divided by 2 plus sine 4 pi x. But it is impossible or maybe it's quite difficult to perform this integration. I'm not sure you can try and find the fx. But obviously in this step, you have to perform this integration, which is not that easy. So that's why we are analyzing the function that can I get something new uh, out of this if that states. Let's observe that. So that's why we consider it as gx into hx, where gx is equal to 192x cubed, where hx is 1 by 2 plus sine 4 pi. Now, why we consider that in reciprocal? We can consider the function if that x is equal to gx by hx as well. But always remember that analyzing the function, right, using the uh, division form like gx by hx, it's sometimes quite difficult. Why? Because then you have to analyze also, right, that uh, if something is increasing, someone decreasing, so it's a division is decreasing. So we have sometimes we get a confusion. But if it's a product, it's much easier, right? So that's why we consider in that particular form. You can go ahead with that hx will be 2 plus sine to the power 4 pi x and solve that particular problem. You can take it as a challenge and or you just try. Let's go ahead. So here, first we ob observe that our domain of interest is 1 by 2, 1. What is the domain of interest? Basically, we have to mean that because here, what is happening, right? Uh, less than 1 by 2 and greater than 1 by half, I don't care. We only care about 1 by 2, 1 because this is actually the integration is defined on this part only. So for this particular problem, the greater than, less than, I don't care. So I just consider that x belongs to 1 by 2, 2, 1. Now here we note that g dash x is equal to 576 x square and as x square is given and it is obviously positive for whatever the value of x. So obviously if x belongs to 1 by 2, 1, it is actually positive. And as g dash x is greater than 0, so therefore gx must be a increasing function in this particular domain. Now we need to analyze the hx. To analyze it, let's differentiate the function. So for the differentiation, we need to write down that hx in the typical form. Let's write down it. So 2 plus sine 4 pi. I have generally have a problem or operating on 1 by 2, 2 sine to the power 4 pi. So I just write down in that minus 1 form. So if I differentiate, right, let's go ahead. So it will be h dash x is equal to minus 1, 2 plus sine 4 pi x. And then we have to write down it as minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, and d dx of whatever they are, right? So this is the chain rule. So let's write down that, the first line. Now see that we need to derive this function, derivative. So let's calculate that. d dx of 2, 0. d dx of 4 sine, so it will be 4 sine q pi x. That's obvious. And again, applying the chain rule, we have to write d dx of sine pi x. What is ddx of sine pi x? That will be cos pi x. And obviously pi will be multiplied. So therefore, it, this can be easily written as 4 pi sine pi x and cos x, right? That's it. So this will be the term. Let's uh, delete that and write down the terms. So it will be 4 pi and then we have cos pi x. So therefore, 
after doing this calculation we easily obtain that now see that here we have cube here we have cos so let's combine that basically we are trying to use the formula of sine 2x so what is sine 2x we know that it will be 2 sine x and cos x so if i reduce as sine square x and multiply it by sine pi x this will be 2 and if we include 2 here it became sine 2 pi x so therefore we obtain that right our a statistics x is equal to minus 2 pi sine square pi x divided by 2 plus sine to the power 4 pi x square and sine 2 pi x now it is obvious that the greater than or less than zero is doesn't depend upon this part why this is a whole square so whatever happened it will be positive so therefore is that steps will be greater than zero or less than zero corresponding to that sine 2 pi x right let's go ahead now here our domain of interest is x is equal to half to one right so therefore sine 2 pi x or sorry 2 pi x is belongs to pi to 2 pi now if we recall if we recall right the plot of sine x we can easily say that this is actually the plot of sine x so therefore 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi so pi to 2 pi sine 2 pi x is less than 0 so as sine 2 pi x is less than 0 we can say that a statistics is greater than 0 so therefore we conclude as sine 2 pi x less than 0 in this domain of interest so a statistics less than 0 and as a statistics is less than uh, 0 so therefore Sorry, not less than zero, greater than zero because it is less than zero and we have minus sign here. So, a star x is greater than zero. Sorry for that. So, as a star x is greater than zero, so therefore, hx must be a increasing function in this interval as well. That's it. So, we find that gx and hx are increasing in that 1 by 2 to 1. We already obtained that gx and hx both are increasing function and hence we can easily compute or conclude that f dash x must be increasing because it's a product of two increasing function gx and hx. As f dash x is an increasing function so therefore the minimum value of f dash x will occur at half x equal to half and if we calculate that just substitute the particular value of x equal to half we get it as 8 and if we need to find out the maximum value of f dash x that occur at x equal to 1 which is f dash 1 and hence substitute the appropriate values we get it as 96. So therefore we obtain that f dash x lies between 8 and 96. So we find the lower value limit and upper value like in a uh, inequality form. Let's go ahead. So now uh, we should go ahead and integrate both sides. Now, integrating both sides with respect to uh, x, right, and the lower limit and upper limit, we consider it as 1 by 2 and x. Now, why we consider x? Because we need to uh, obtain fx at the end, right? That's our main aim. So that's why we go ahead. Otherwise, uh, it's not possible, right? Uh, we'll see that later. You can try that with 1 by 2 because then everywhere it will be numerical values. If I apply and uh, do the integration, it will be 8x and then it will be fx and this will be 96x. Let's apply the limit. Therefore, it will be 8x minus 4, fx minus 1, f1 by 2, 96x and 48, which is very simple step. Now, it is given that f1 by 2 is 0 in the given problem. So, therefore, we can conclude that 8x minus 4 is less than equal to fx and less than equal to 96x minus 48. Now observe that if we go ahead with the instead of x, right, instead of x, if I go ahead and you can apply that one, right? Technically, it's not correct. So that because we are here, we are trying to apply the concept of area function. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and integrate it again so that we obtain the required result. Now, now once again, you I integrate. So if I integrate, we get it as in the for 8x minus 4, give me that as 8x squared by 2, which is 4x squared minus 4x. Then it will be, I just keep it aside because that's we are required to find out. And in the other side, it will be 48x squared and 48x, the basic integration. Now, if I apply the limit, it will give you uh, that 4x squared and all the stuff. Basically, I substituted that appropriate limit in the appropriate place and do the basic arithmetic calculation, which gives me 
that 4x square minus 4x plus 1 1 by 2x fx dx is equal to something else now notice that if i replace now x is equal to 1 our job is done so let's go ahead and substitute x equal to 1 so by taking x equal to 1 we obtain that 1 to 12 it just calculation see that 4x square minus 4x gone for x equal to 1 and for the same value will be 48x square and 48 gone for x equal to 1 as well so therefore it lies between 1 to 12 so obviously by comparison comparing uh, the given relation we find that small m is equal to 1 and cap m is equal to 12 and hence option d is the correct option and that's it it's a very simple problem if we go ahead with this tricky concept. Otherwise, yes, it is trouble. Hope you understood the problem. So if you know, learn something new. So then please like, subscribe and comment on this video so that it will uh, be helpful for us and it will give me us a pride that, okay, you learn something from us, right? And we are trying to help you on this regard. So, uh, Please go ahead and feel free to write whatever you want and also you can put, uh, uh, write some uh, your doubt problem or something else which that particular problem you need a detailed clarified solution right then please either send us a mail or put that problem in the comment we'll try to help you out uh, on solving that particular problem thank you